filming and we really just connected on a personal level. We're both very sort of kindred spirits and whatnot and it was nice to have Ashley actually Ashley and Kate as well. Um, two very strong empowered women who really just love where I <laughs> trying to see who I'm talking to. Uh, hey, um, who uh, who really love the art of acting and love being on a movie set and I know that sounds maybe weird to say but sometimes you that's not always the case I find with people. Um, and so working with Ashley was especially having an emotional scene with her, a really emotional scene with her, it was so nice because I felt this natural sort of organic sense of comfortability. Shaylee, how did you train for your role in Divergent? We did about a month of hand-to-hand -hand combat training. Um, the stunt coordinators kind of came up with this new fighting style because they wanted it to seem similar to something that we recognize that exists in today's world, but also a little bit futuristic. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so we did a little bit of that. We did some fight choreography. Um, yeah, just a lot of push-ups, really. Push-ups and squats. You <laughs> started your bits about your stunts? Uh, no, I was really excited about um, doing the stunts. I'd never done an action film before, and so it was really exciting and appealing to me. Um, and not to say that it was very, it was easy by any means. I mean, we, we definitely got banged up, but it's this sort of this gratifying feeling of going home at the end of the night and being like, oh yeah, I worked hard today. Look at that big bruise. <laughs> <laughs> You're starting in two adaptations of really popular books. Um, is there a lot of pressure? From, I guess from the fandom? Yeah, no, I actually don't feel much pressure at all because I'm so, I've been so passionate about both of the books myself. And um, I feel like, you know, I thought about it, I was like, if I try to make Triss or His or Grace a combination of what you imagine them as, or she imagined or he imagined them as, then you just have this mix mash of a personality that makes no sense. So I really just had to ignore everything. And, and when you're doing a film, you're sort of in your own secluded bubble anyway. And you're really under the guidance of a director. He's the captain of the ship more than anything else. And so you just put your trust in him or her and, and surrender and go. Well, go well, All right, two more questions. I'm sorry I forgot the name on the movie, but I don't remember today. Um, Fault in our stars. Yes. Um, what was it like going into that emotional place? It was really nice. I mean, especially after doing a movie like Divergent, which was which was actually very emotional, but most of the days filming was sort of walking down a hallway or, or doing some sort of action sequence. So to go from that to a film where every single day we were either crying really hard or laughing really hard, there wasn't a lot of real in-between moments, um, just felt very cathartic, just uh, selfishly as a human being, to sort of express and, and, and allow your emotions to flow in that sort of a way. Did you ever write a book about healthy living and being environmentally conscious? Do I want to write a book about it? Yes. Please. Um, maybe one day. I feel like I'm still learning so much that right now it's I could never imagine writing a book because you know I'm 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 reading the books right now. <laughs> um, maybe one day. It's divergent Are already. Uh, filmed the second one already in the can. Uh, no, no, we uh, we'll we'll commence that one I think later this year at some point. Oh. All right, guys. Unfortunately, that's all the time that we have. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.